Hi everybody, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an incredibly long-burning emergency candle or even micro stove for four bucks or maybe even free. So let's get to it. Okay, so basically I have been doing some more research. I'm always looking for a better way to do a thing, cheaper, faster, better, you know the homesteader's way. Uh, so I came across a, uh, an instructional tutorial on how you can take some regular, ordinary, everyday household stuff and make an incredibly long burning candle or emergency stove. Now, why am I saying, I keep saying incredibly long burning, and, th and the reason for that is this. I don't know how long it's gonna burn, and it seems kind of, there's so much different information out there. I've seen on the low side, people are saying these things will last 40 hours. And on the high side, people are saying they'll last weeks. So I don't want to give you any misinformation. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this. I'm gonna build one, show you how to do it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let it burn and tell you what we got. So basically I'm gonna show you the materials that we need and you're gonna laugh because it's super, super simple, uh, really simple. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give you the 411 at the end of the video, so let's get cooking, folks. Okay, so for this emergency candle, you really only need a couple things. Something to make a wick with. I actually have a wick uh, because we make candles, but you can use rolled up paper, you could use any number of things, but something to make a wick, and really, this. Crazy, huh? That's right, Crisco. You don't want any of the flavored kind of nastiness, none of the butter this, none of the butter that, just the basic shortening. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but uh, when they originally developed uh, this product, they were actually thinking of it as a way to make candles. So um, basically you literally just, it's simple as all get out. You open the, the old Crisco up and, um, don't fight me. Okay, now all you do is you're gonna need a wick and uh, you're gonna wanna insert the wick down into the center, the very center of this shortening. Uh, so you need something that has rigidity to it to make a, a little hole for it to go down in there so you don't bend the wick up and it gets all jacked up halfway through. So I actually have a skewer, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna go ahead and center it up. Give it a little twist. Now I got a hole for my wick to go down in but I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get some scissors to cut it to the right length, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with my scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out. Basically wanna be about a quarter inch over the top of your shortening. I'm gonna cut my wick. Insert the wick into the before drilled hole. And that's it, kinda mush it together a little bit right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and set this up, light it, and uh, let the timer begin. So, as some of you may have deduced, I've changed my location of filming this video. The reason why is uh, basically um, these candles that you're making, these emergency stove slash candles, uh, I don't know if it's probably a really good idea to be breathing the stuff. Um, so keep that in mind. This is, this is not something you're gonna use normally, day-to-day uh, -day use. This is for an emergency situation where you just absolutely have to have it. And I would recommend that you put it in a well-ventilated area, um, which is why the location has changed for my experiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this guy up here. Let's see, in you go. And I have set up this bucket here as a windbreak since we're outside. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that going right now. I'm gonna look at my clock and it looks like it's about one o'clock, uh, one in the afternoon and I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and time this joker out. Oh, also, one other word, uh, a note on um, candles just in general. We are beekeepers as well. And so I know um, uh, a few things about wax and the bees. Uh, here's the thing, uh, paraffin wax, or paraffin candles rather, are actually not good for the air either. They, they burn dirty. Uh, paraffin is actually a derivative of um, petroleum. So uh, that's not actually something you wanna be having in your house if you can avoid it. Beeswax candles are where it's at. Uh, not only do they burn much longer, they burn uh, cleaner and they actually ionize the air that it's burning in a way that it purifies the air. So how you like them apples? That's pretty cool. 
So anyway, I'm um, gonna go show you what we got going on in here and then uh, I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna time it and I'm gonna come back uh, periodically and give you the 411. All right, there it is in my bucket windbreak. I would imagine that this is gonna burn a little quicker than normal just because of the, um, the airflow around it, but I stuck this bucket out here just as a, a windbreak so it doesn't blow out, hopefully, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna test it out and see, but there we go, timer's on. All right, so just a quick update. As you can see, this thing is burning great, and it's this has been going for four hours right now, and as you can see, it hasn't even uh, spread across the entire face of the can yet, so this is looking like it's gonna be a pretty successful yippity-skippity. Yes, sir. All right, this right here is a good 10 hours in. I can't even believe it. I've lost patience with this project. I figured out what I need to figure out, and I'm gonna give you the sayonara right now. All right, folks, so there it is. I got a little bit impatient after the 10 hour mark, and it really hadn't looked like there was much burn done to the candle at all. So I'd say yes, that is a successful test. Uh, for the purpose of this video showing you how to build that candle, there it is. I will let this candle burn and burn and burn, uh, and then I will let you know in a future update exactly how long it goes. But if, if my guess is right, I'm gonna say it's gonna go for days. I mean, at least a solid week. Uh, but that I will let you know in the future uh, what that actual number and time is. Uh, so please pass this on, share it. Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Makes Brad smile. Thank you very much. Uh, I am Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.